everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, welcome. I am doing a huge spring haul today. If you can see the rack beside me, it is filled up. I will be starting off with the Aritzia pieces that are from their new spring collection. It is available online and in stores. So this portion of the video is sponsored by Aritzia. And on top of that, I will be talking about some different brands that you may not have heard from me before. Without further ado, I'm gonna get started because I'm already like working up a sweat looking at everything we're gonna try on today. All right, so first off, we're gonna talk about this bodysuit. This is my first bodysuit from Aritzia and I'm very, very pleased. This one is kind of like a crew neck muscle tee, but like fitted muscle tee. I really like that it is a thicker strap up here because then I can wear any type of bra and hide it. Bodysuit actually does have like the buttons in the crotch area, FYI. I think that it makes going to the bathroom a lot easier. And then these are the pants that I'm wearing. They are so soft and so comfortable. Plus they still have pockets, which I find sometimes when you get like pants in this style, they just like take out the pocket, but these ones have it. And it's 100% lyocell. So lyocell is one of my favorite materials for spring it gives you this really like breezy material but still with some substance it's not like super thin and not see-through this and tinsel and linen are my favorite fabrics for spring and summer this is what the pants look like from afar they are cropped and I would say high-waisted because I pulled them up this way you can probably wear them mid to low because of the string and elastic waist I think they're gonna be great for the transition weather because you show a little ankle, but still have long pants. All right, and a spring wardrobe for me wouldn't be a spring wardrobe without some jackets. So we're gonna move into some jackets now. This one I was eyeing since I saw it come out online. I was really having a hard time deciding what color though. They have the, like this creamy white color. They have a black one and then a green one that would probably be similar to these pants. But I decided to stick true to my spring wardrobe um, palette and stick with some creams and light colors. So the shell of this jacket is 99% cotton, 1% elastane. So it's almost like a denim jacket feel. It's like canvasy, but not quite. So I am obsessed with the high collar. I think it looks so sharp and it has this like utilitarian inspired vibe to it with like the bigger pockets, the oversized sleeves, but it is still cropped. It's gonna look so amazing, like no matter what you wear because it's not like a super, super cropped jacket. It's like right at your hips. It's so flattering. And I just think it looks so, so cool. Next up we have a safari inspired jacket. I think this whole look is quite safari inspired. I've been loving like the belted look that you've been probably starting to see on Pinterest, on Instagram, on the runways especially. I decided to get a jacket that has a belted waist. This one is by the group Babaton. The other jacket that you just saw is a TNA jacket. So the bodysuit that I was wearing before was a Babaton tank top and then the pants that I'm wearing are the group by Babaton. So this is what the jacket looks like when it's tied up, buttoned up. I really like the silhouette. So this is a material up close. This is much softer than the crop jacket you just saw. Has definitely the Savari vibe with the two sets of pockets and the belted waist. I am wearing a size small in this. I think it fits true to size. Sorry, the canvas jacket was also a size small. Everything's kind of fitting true to size right now. Bodysuit was a size small. Pants were a size small. So this jacket slash blouse, it's like a combo. You'll see when I come closer. It is almost like a chic PJ shirt, I'd say, or a great like spring version of the Ghana jacket. You know, the cream wool one that I have and also in the plaid that you guys also seem to love so much. This is like a great spring version of it because it's almost it's still like a shirt jacket but it's much flowier and lighter of course this one is actually 100 percent polyester i'm just rolling up the sleeves so you guys can see the difference in proportion when i do do that this is what it looks like with the sleeves rolled up everything just comes up a little bit so in this jacket i'm wearing a size small it doesn't have like a shoulder ribbing here so really just flow off you you could go a size up if you wanted it even more dramatic when i first tried it on i wasn't sure if i wanted it a size up but now that I'm trying it on with actual spring pieces. I like the small, medium might be a little bit too overwhelming. This gives you a better idea of the material up close. It's like that gorgeous Aritzia silky material that you see them do really well a lot in spring and summer. So you can wear it as like a full on like shirt as well with or without like a tank top underneath and with some flowy pants. It gives you that like wearable pajama look and vibe. I believe they have like some matching shorts as well, but 
I haven't gone into like the short phase yet because for like spring in Toronto you rarely get short weather so we'll do shorts in the summer but this is how it looks like when it's all buttoned up. For me, like nothing says spring like a trench coat. So I love myself an oversized trench coat. So when I saw this one, this one is a Babaton trench coat. This one is 100% lyocell. It is the same material as the pants. It's my, one of my favorite fabrics in spring. And I think I just saw a cardinal. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's in the tree like across my house. And I was like, what is this pop of red? As I'm talking about neutral colors. This one is super long. So I would kind of just make sure that you are tall enough for this jacket. If you're not and you still love it, you can get it shortened. I just want to point that one out. I am five feet five, so it hits, but like just, I want to say like five inches above my ankle. So I love that it's made a live cell because most like traditional trench coats are a lot stiffer in fabric and so you get like the shoulders standing up a little bit more of like a crinkle when you tie the belt all right this is my full inspector gadget look this is what the jacket looks like when it is completely done up in buttons and the belt so we can also do it like this just like unfold the top and still have your waist show with the belt done up it's almost like a beautiful like trench dress i wonder if i can wear it like a dress without pants underneath i think that would be really nice so this is the material up close. Again, it's 100% lyocell, so very much the same as the pants, just a thicker version of it. This is the belt area that I am so excited about. I don't know about you guys, but I always struggle with like trench coats and even leather jackets. Like when you have a strap like this, it's always like falling out, but I just saw this. Like, let's just take a note. They have created like an inside hook for the strap so it won't ever fall out. Like how genius. So it has like this button here that you can undo obviously if you actually wanna take off the strap but is hooked on to this hook here this double hook and it sticks on. It not sticks on, it stays on. So genius. So your trench coat strap will never be like, woo, over there. It will just stay. So anyways, I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. Okay, so this is pretty much my go-to spring look. Super flowy top and flowy pants. This is a 100% lyocell top. It is a Wilfred Free top. I got it in a size medium for the extra droop. So this is how it looks like untucked. This is another look that I would probably pull it in the summer with some bike shorts and it just like almost looking like a dress, but you have like a little hint of the spandex shorts underneath. For spring, I would keep it with some long pants. All right, so I'm not an expert tire yet. I might have to spend some more time fiddling with this, but this is how it would look like if it was tied up I think it looks really cute this way too, or completely tucked in. So this is the material up close. This is like basically the same material as the pants. Same thickness, not as thick as the trench coat, of course. And this is like a creamy stone color. So definitely not white, but it's not as warm as like a cream. That's why I said like cream stone. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a sneak peek of this outfit. I'm still obsessed with full sets. And I, I didn't really think about getting like a safari green Set and I am obsessed. So as you've seen, these pants literally go with everything and they're the comfiest things ever. So I found that they had a matching top. It doesn't necessarily like show matching on the site, but I kind of noticed that they're the same color. They're both Lysel, they're both by the group Babaton. So why not like make them a set? So this one is a size small. It's not a full button up like the cream Lysel top I just showed you. Like you're not gonna be able to put it up like that. It's perfect though, because sometimes I have trouble with button ups like actually staying open and like showing my necklaces. I don't size up like I did with the other one because of where the button sits. The button sits right where it needs to. If I ordered a size up, the button would be like lower and then like things would droop and then like I couldn't bend down or grab something without like potentially having a wardrobe malfunction. Next up is this like kind of acid wash black cropped tee. Call it gray basically. It is super soft, it is TNA. I ordered a size medium, so I ordered a size up because I wanted to make sure the crop was lower. Sometimes when I order Aritzia crop tops, they're like too crop for me. Like obviously people have their love for super crop tops, but I'm just not comfortable with it. So when I still want something crop, but like a little bit more of like a modest crop, I go up a size. And so now it hits like a little bit under my high-waisted pants. So next up is a kind of cowl neck cami from Babaton. I'm wearing a size small. This is like their sandy color. It has adjustable straps, which you know I love. And I just like 
the easiness of the cowl neck. It also is like double layered. So if you don't want to wear a bra, you don't have to. It's just a super great cami. This is what it looks like untucked. If you want to wear it untucked, it's quite beautiful that way too. But of course, you know me, I like things tucked in. Okay. So now we're moving into friends of Jenny. They carry a bunch of different brands right now. I'm wearing pair of mother denim that they sell on their site. So mother denim is one of like the comfiest denim brands that I have come across. So these ones are a mid rise, I'd say maybe high rise for some, they are a straight leg with a little bit of a flare on the bottom, as you can see. And the shade is like beyond, like I love a dark navy, almost black pair of jeans and this is what it is. So when I come close, you can definitely see that they are blue and not black. Again, like they are super stretchy. You can see like even when I go like this with the pocket. So it has basically a hidden button. It's like a black button that blends in very well. I love that extra piece of detailing and it has a zipper fly. Mother Denim always has like a pocket that has like the M and then like a tiny little logo here. Not too shabby, not too in your face. So I'm wearing these in the size 25. They are 92% cotton, 6% polyester, and then 2% elastane, which is why they're so stretchy, but you still get that cotton feel. Next up is the Regine sweatshirt. So I got a lot of questions about this on Instagram. If you don't follow me, um, my Instagram is just undecided. So it is currently sold out, but they do do restocks and I'm hoping they restock this one because it is honestly amazing. So it does come in only one size, but I would say it's like a women's large. I'm not quite extra large because when I unfold it, it like just hits here. So one of the reasons why I call it an elevated sweatshirt is because of the detailing. So you have this beautiful texture, basically it almost looks like the sweatshirt was inverted, like this is the inside and this is like your normal outside cotton fabric you see. I think it gives the sweatshirt such a beautiful amount of detail without like adding studs onto it and like changing colors. This is like a stone cream as well, very like cool cream color. Last but not least from Friends of Jenny is this bag. It's such a cute everyday bag, but it actually turns into a clutch, which I'll show you up close. It is the perfect size too because it fits like my EpiPen and my phone and it's not one of those tiny crossbody bags but it's not huge. It literally is the perfect size for an everyday bag. So this is the bag up close. It has these really, really cute metal accents in the front. They're like kind of organically shaped hearts, I wanna say. And then it just has the most beautiful leather. It's gonna age so nicely. So the strap actually is removable and that's how you make it into a clutch. So this is how it looks without the strap. So this is like a cute dinner date clutch, everyday clutch. So now we're going to be talking about the Levi's balloon jeans. So they are the new style that Levi's has launched this year for women and they are so fun. Okay, like I first heard like balloon jean and I was like, what are they talking about? Like, I don't wanna look like a balloon. So I'm wearing a size 25. They are 100% cotton and the inseam for these ones are a 26 inch. So that's why they are quite cropped on me. So I think that these ones are gonna be so fun for spring. I think they are as high rise as their rib cage ones. Like my ribs are right here. They do have a zipper fly. The butt pocket though is smaller than they normally are and they sit higher. So I think it actually gives you more of like a lifted butt look, which who's gonna complain about that? So then these ones are the pleated balloon leg. They are also, I believe, a 26 inch inseam. They didn't say on the tag for these ones, but they seem similar. I love it with a tank top like this, but also imagine this with like a cropped, like peasanty boho top. I think that'd be super cute. So up close, you can see the pleats better. Um, they are a little bit wrinkled right now, but easy fix. The pockets are slanted down like this versus the jean pocket was like that. And then in terms of butt pockets, these ones have the like hidden slits. The next up are my Jessie Cam jeans that I became obsessed with when I saw the founder of Donnie wear them. I saw her wearing these jeans and I was like on the hunt to see where they're from, but Jessie Cam is an American company and so the duties are insane on them and I was like, oh shoot, like they're already expensive jeans. I don't want to pay like $200 in taxes and duties so I guess I'm not going to get them. And then I found out that this store that I follow in Vancouver called Shop One of a Few about to get them so I immediately was like, how much are they? Can I get them? like now and what size. So I'm wearing a size four. Their like pants and jeans don't size like a normal jean company. It's not like 25, 26. I got a size four, like I measured my waist 
and my hips and it matched closest to a four. I was in between two and four and I decided to size up and I'm very happy with it because these ones are very high waisted, basically the same as the balloon jean right under my ribs. Inseam, 30 inch inseam I would say and they fit perfectly like they are my dream pant. I am obsessed. They are 100% Japanese cotton, so they are a little bit different than a Levi's cotton because Japanese cotton tends to be a little bit heavier but softer. So this is the jean up close. It has like this ivory button and it is a button fly. And then the pockets are plain. There really is no like Jessie Cam branding on it, which is why I love this brand so much. But their carpenter jean is pretty like iconic to their brand. Yeah, it has like the really cool detailing here. Anyways. Love them. So next up is Frank and Oak. It is a like sustainably conscious brand and it is from Montreal, I believe. So importing Canadian brands is always high on my list, except for when it comes to denim. I haven't found a Canadian denim brand that I love yet. So let me know if you have any brands to check out. This is their ribbed like racer tank. So I love how it comes in might be a little tricky with bra straps popping out but i usually like stick a fashion tape piece of fashion tape right there so it doesn't move and it is a high neck which you know i all love and then there's like ribs on it that adds extra texture but it's a really soft rib so racer back though it isn't a true racer back you can see it doesn't like come in like i would think a racer back would come in it just comes in basically the same as it does in the front so next up is a ribbed top it has like a wide crew neck um, it's not quite a boat neck or a scoop neck, but it does open a little bit more and I think it helps elongate your neck. And then it has these elongated sleeves that are fitted. So I think overall it's a very, very flattering top. It's like an elevated t-shirt. So then of course I had to try a t-shirt from Frankenhook because with essentials like t-shirts, I find that they all, like you have to replace them every so often. And so if I can find a sustainable version to replace them with, then even better. I got a striped version just because I have enough white tees right now. I really like the fact that it has like a thicker band at the top and that the sleeves are longer. I am not the biggest fan of like super short sleeve t-shirts because it defeats the purpose for me um, for it to look casual and almost tomboy-y. Okay, so one of my favorite items from Frank and Oak that I got was their sweaters. I got a hoodie as well, but I'm saving that for my wardrobe essentials hoodies video. So I'm gonna show you this one. This one is the gym sweatshirt, I believe, and it is their light speckled color. They have like a black with white speckled. This one is like a super light gray, almost like a white from afar. And it has like these like really cute like texturized dots so they're not just painted on dots they're like in the fabric which i think is really really cool this is a size large i wanted to make sure it was oversized and i think i would size up with frank and oak sweaters i think if i got a small on this one it would be like too fitted and then you wouldn't get that like super cozy vibe from it so at the beginning i mentioned that my favorite spring fabrics are lyocell tensile and linen so of course i had to find like a local linen brand and cedar and vine is just that they have so many really really cute designs that are like minimal but like have a bit of an edge i have some other pieces that i will show you some other day but <laughs> this is the last piece i'm going to show you today so as you can see it's a super low key shape it's so comfortable it has two pockets in the front tie string straps i guess you can call it and then i have rolled it up like when you unroll it it's like a whole different shape little bit wrinkly in the bottom because I've been wearing it rolled up. So it doesn't have any pockets in the butt area, which I think it just like allows you to either wear it a little bit lower. So you have like a drop crotch almost or tighten up the strap. So it sits like this. The linen itself is super like good quality. I've washed this twice and it's fine. It dries like I air dry it so it like dries stiffer but anytime you wear it it starts to soften again all right so I took off the t-shirt so that you can see what it looks like if you just wore it with like maybe a like a really cute colorful sports bra underneath or a tank top I think like a neon sports bra even would be really cute and that is a wrap <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it I am exhausted and probably gonna go chuck some water now because apparently trying on clothes is like a big workout for me <laughs> also a portion of the video was sponsored by Aritzia the Aritzia part of course so I hope you enjoyed this haul I'm being really picky with my hauls this year to choose pieces that I think will last in my closet forever and therefore your closet forever in terms of picking pieces that aren't super trendy picking pieces that are like classic and beautiful but also you 
you can mix with trendier pieces if you do want to try trends and also quality pieces that just won't fall apart after two wears so if you like the video like the video subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you very soon